and we are here in western New York State at this extraordinary majestic family home built in 1865 by the Root family. Spirit medium Heather Madison and her husband Bob currently own the premises and have invited us to partake in an investigation this evening. Heather also routinely does seances here inside the house and uses the craft in different ways to contact different entities. We're hoping to speak with some of the same and uh, possibly some new ones tonight on this investigation. So join us on this week's episode of The, the Ghost, Ghost Finders. Finders. My team and I video document our investigations around the country. No frills, no hunting, no nonsense. Just some old world magic, a pinch of pseudoscience, and respect for the dearly departed. We are the Ghost Finders. Greystone Manor is a beautifully preserved Victorian mansion near the Erie Canal in Gasport, upstate New York. The house was built by racehorse breeder Curtis Root back in 1865. He owned and operated the Roots Trotting Park, which is a quarter mile horse racetrack in the field next to Greystone Manor during the last half of the 19th century. Current owners Robert Matteson and his wife, psychic medium Heather Reese Matteson, have been renovating the property and returning it back to its original glory since purchasing the home in 2017. Since beginning renovations, this historic house, now a bed and breakfast, has had its share of reported alleged paranormal activity. Contractors, staff and guests alike, along with the owners themselves, have all reported alleged paranormal activity, such as figures looming down from the staircase above, objects moving, Footsteps on the upstairs floor. Guests alleged to have seen faces at upper floor guest windows. Full bodied apparitions appear at the foot of beds, and even group conversations happening in completely unoccupied rooms. With these and other reports of paranormal activity, we just had to bring you to the Greystone Manor on this episode of The Ghost Finders. This, folks, it's not really a safety hazard, but look, it sees you. Hey, how you doing? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, well, then, nothing to see here, folks. Of course, we got the mannequin and we got the dangerous little kitties here. You want us to follow him? Let's go. Note, creepy doll must use. Holy. Very nice. Nothing special. Right now I'm seeing very, like I don't see any safety hazards really. It's a small place and I can say, I mean like aside from washing your head and washing your feet, not a lot of things to be, you know, scared about. So yeah, in the grand scheme of things, this is actually one of the more laid back places we've been to. <laughs> Your 
daughter, your lover, your child, your student, your colleague, hail to thee. is inside me. Well, of course, uh, all the equipment that you see on every season of The Ghost Finders is provided by my great friends and amazing sponsors, some of the best providers of paranormal equipment in the field, and that is Mr. Jonas and my nice to be here. darling, nice to see you, nice Nicole, you. Um, of ghosthuntersequipment.com. This piece of equipment, I've had more, we've had more emails. Oh, yeah than any other piece of equipment we've ever had. It's so true. The really footage nice. we awesome. have captured and the phenomenon with it has been unreal. And then even our fans at different conventions have talked to us one-on-one -on -one mm. and just loved everything we've used. So especially that guy. Our paranormal friends in Sweden, Laxton Ghost, have designed this. And we have exclusive rights for North America to sell these. And uh, what it is, it has this music box and it's uh, placed on this uh, very sturdy um, quality material shaped as a coffin. So this is believed to be working as a uh, trigger object for uh, ghosts that they, it catches their interest, the uh, shape and the music box. Uh, you can imagine if you live in the 1800s that you know what a music box is. So child ghosts particularly might enjoy the, uh, interacting with it. Uh, like you said, the great results with the PMB. Mm -hmm. And it's not intimidating to them because they're like, oh, that's a music box. They can recognize right. it. Yeah, exactly. it doesn't look like a piece of alien yeah. technology. Yeah. No, yes, it's, it's, it's old school. Um, mm -hmm. But it's really effective. So um, what one does is one simply um, turns it on and it will shoot out a ultrasound that bounces back from... It wants it up against a wall and any, any object uh, that's fixed uh, within uh, 16 feet. Turning it on... It's very easy to use. Um, takes a few seconds, then the light turns off. Okay, showing us that it's working. Now, if everything, anything moves in front of it, uh, the ultrasound beam is crossed, it will go off. Um, thank you, Jonas and Nicole, for all you do to support us and provide us with this incredible equipment. And um, it's beautiful. We highly recommend every piece. Uh, we use it lovingly. And when you see us break it out time and time again, it's because we depend on it too. And we care about the spirits we're talking with. And all of this, uh, I feel, helps us communicate with them very civilly. And we thank you for helping us bridge that gap with your tech. It's all for the taking. Check it out. It tours at ghostaugustine.com and the other one is ghosthuntersequipment.com. You heard it here. Thank you both of you for joining us. Thank and you God so bless. much, you Our guys. Pleasure.